Hello, welcome to another one with your brother Joseph. So we're going to be hearing as Prophet Uber Angel talks about one of the nicest things about Pastor Chris Oyakilome. And he's going to be saying this as per the interactions that he has had with my dear man of God, Pastor Chris. So let's hear what he has to say. Please support us by liking, sharing and subscribing. And I'll meet you in the next video. God bless you. And one time I was always constantly with Pastor Chris on the phone, like maybe every week on the phone, on the phone. Then I had like a month where I didn't talk to him for like uh, three weeks or something like that. I was wondering what just happened. Something unusual. There's something that was unusual. Unusual. Because the way I, I got there is in this mode. Yes, sir. Yes. Something, what, what just happened? Did I do something? But then the Lord ministered to me, no, that's not it. He's busy, this man. He's doing this, he's doing this, yes. he's doing this. Now, it's your duty now to call him. Wow. Because I wasn't calling. I'll just be like, ish. How do I start this? How do I start this? I yes. call and say what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly do I want right now? You know, because yes. I never thought I would speak to Pastor Chris on anything. Like I'm going to call him and, and he answers. I never, that's far from me. I never thought of those things. Thank you, sir. Never even desired them, so to speak, in the sense of maybe because I never hoped they would happen. Did you get the point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We understand. You can wish it would happen. Then you tell yourself, nah, it's not going to happen. So I'm okay with this. I've done years and years just saying that's my father. I never gone there. But then I realized, wait a minute. I need to be going there myself. Mm -hmm. Then you find me in the meeting and go like, what? You are here. Wow. And that's it. Wow. I'm just there. Thank you, sir. It was just three weeks, and then it went back to whatever I called no more. But then I realized whenever he calls, I don't know what to say to him. <laughs> That's what Where do I go with this story? How do I go? And he'll call. But you see, the nice thing about Pastor Chris is from the start of the, the, the conversation, whether it's going to be two hours, three hours, it's going to be the word. Yes, sir. The word. Yes, the sir. word. The word. If you record Pastor Chris today, yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. just record him while you're having a con, uh, say, I want to catch him ways and just record his audio like this. You'll be embarrassed yourself. You will not go out of line one bit. It will just be where the word. Why? Because that's what's in him. So what comes out is exactly what's in him. It was full in him. Exactly. And so his words are powerful because they are coming from the innermost parts of his spirit. And they're not changing. It's his character. He's gotten in there. He's settled now in there. I have the same testimony also with my man of God because mm -hmm. every time he calls me, every time we talk, he's, he's always teaching me the word. So, so I your share. man of God calls you every time? That, I said every time he calls me. Wow. Not, not that he calls me every time. <laughs> like and every time he calls me, my testimony is he's always <laughs> sharing with me the word of God. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, always, I'm always refreshed always refreshed. I thank, thank God, God for, for that himself. man of God. Yes. Yes, sir. And That's also, <laughs> what, what, what